best advice, and I'm sure uh, Chip would echo the same sentiment and same advice, would be that if you can avoid going over some of those high ramps, do so at all costs. Take a detour, even if it means going a few miles out of your way. We set two records today, one for snowfall for a new daily snowfall record of two inches at DFW, breaking the old record of a half inch set back in 1934. And for temperature, it was a record low high temperature of only 30 degrees. The previous record was 33 back in 1962. Our normal high 63, so we're 33 degrees below normal today. For tonight, that wintry mix plus refreezing will mean very slick roadways. Periods of freezing drizzle will continue Saturday morning. That will cause an additional icy glazing on some of our roadways. And then finally, by Saturday afternoon, temperatures will creep above the freezing mark, at least here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. However, there still will be some icy spots to our north and west where that Arctic air will be stubborn to leave. Here's a trace of the temperature and wind chill as we head from tomorrow morning into the afternoon. You notice right around midday is when we start to crack the freezing mark and uh, then we'll see the freezing drizzle transition more over to periods of very light rain during the afternoon hours. Beautiful picture here and boy, we had many of them shared with us on our Facebook and Twitter pages. This was the scene down in Cedar Hill earlier this afternoon, courtesy of Jessica Broomfield. The winter weather advisory continues for all of North Texas and we continue to see a wintry mix of some uh, very fine snow grains. Occasionally we'll see some snowflakes themselves, a little sleet, a little freezing drizzle, even reports of freezing fog across the area right now. We go in for a closer look here. Much of Tarrant County now is seeing that wintry mix falling and from Dallas into Irving. Uh, we are also seeing a wintry mix and it's generally moving from southwest to northeast. Pretty good coverage as well as we head through Parker County here, including Willow Park and Weatherford out towards Mineral Wells. We're not going to see significant accumulations here, uh, but enough that it will certainly cause some uh, glazing of roadways, especially the elevated roads, those bridges and overpasses. 28 Greenville, 29 in Terrell, it's 26 in Fort Worth, 27 in Dallas, 22 in Mineral Wells, holding in the low 20s to our north and west as well. A little warmer down in Corsicana, where it's currently 31. Winds have relaxed uh, since this afternoon, but we still have wind chills at times that are dipping down into the teens. Here's a look at some snowfall reports. Four inches up in Gainesville, and I've had varying reports around the Decatur area. Our weather tracker, Don Niblett, three inches, but there have been reports in northern Wise County of as much as six inches of snow, about an inch and three quarters in Fort Worth, three inches out in Mineral Wells, two inches officially at DFW, two and a half in South Lake, three inches in McKinney, and a little bit more up in Aubrey and Sanger, over four inches in much of the country east of the Rockies shivering tonight. Look at Chicago at five above eight in Minneapolis and only nine degrees right now in Denver. So here's future cast again. This wintry mix continues on and off this evening, slowly but surely transitioning over to all freezing drizzle as we head overnight into tomorrow morning and through about midday. We'll see the threat of freezing drizzle here locally in the Dallas Fort Worth area and then just spotty rain tomorrow afternoon and we will continue to see that patchy rain. Not going to see any sunshine, unfortunately, this weekend. Here's your seven day forecast. 36 the high, but that's not until late tomorrow afternoon. 47 on Sunday. We may briefly get to 50 there on Monday, and then we finally warm up Tuesday briefly. 68 showers and storms. Another strong cold front will bring 40s back in here Wednesday and Thursday and back in the 50s by Friday.